To determine if HCN is polar or nonpolar, we first need to look at the Lewis structure. That tells us how the electrons, those valence electrons, are arranged around the molecule and gives us an idea where the atoms are. So this is the Lewis structure for HCN. And you can see there's a triple bond between the carbon and the nitrogen. And then we have that lone pair of electrons there on the outside of the nitrogen atom. It doesn't look very symmetrical. And if it's not symmetrical, that's a clue that it might be a polar molecule. As we look at a model of the molecule, a three-dimensional model of the molecule, you can see the carbon there triple bonded to the nitrogen and the lone pair of electrons on the other side. We can see that it's a linear molecule. But on one side, we have the hydrogen. And on the other, we have the nitrogen with that lone pair there. This is not a symmetrical molecule. We're going to have a bit of a positive charge. And then on the nitrogen side, we'll have a bit of a negative charge. So we have these poles. There's a net dipole. And that means that this molecule, HCN, is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B with the polarity for HCN. And thanks for watching.